welcome back to my channel. So I am so excited for this video. As you can see, I have a lot of baked goods in front of me. Right guys, I'll be honest, I've been in Lidl maybe once in my entire life. And I know that sounds bad, but it's purely because I don't have one in my area at all. And I can't drive. Yes, I am a 28 year old adult that cannot drive. So I, I don't know, I can never kind of get to a Lidl. But I went today and oh my God, my mind was blown away. They even had dairy milk chocolate buttons, you know, the big bags for like 85p. 85p. Honestly, I was, I was overwhelmed, but I went in there for one thing, the bakery. We're going to do a little bakery taste test. Now, because I haven't been to Lidl, you can imagine my shock at the prices of this stuff. So all of this, we have about 10 things here, I think. Quick maths, yes, I think so. This all came to about £5.50. £5.50. Anyway, let's stop talking and start eating. Okay, where, where does one begin? I feel like the natural thing would be to do a savoury thing, but I'm not gonna do that. I think I am going to do... Guys, I am so excited for this white chocolate chip cookie. If you watch my videos, you know I love white chocolate. Oh, and this, I feel like this is, is this a cinnamon bun thing? I think so. So excited. Okay, I'm gonna start, you know what? I'm gonna start with a pan of chocolate. I never really know how to say that, so just fully commit to it, you know? So, this is what it looks like. I mean, it's just a, a standard chocolate croissant. I think this was like, I've got the receipt here. I want to say it was 49p, 49p. It's a good size. It looks like there's quite a lot of chocolate in there. That, you probably heard it. That was really nice and crunchy. I like that in a croissant. Mmm, there's a good amount of chocolate inside. That's what we like to see. I hate it when you get a chocolate croissant, you bite into it, or like sometimes if I rip into it, and you know like you want two even bits of chocolate inside. And sometimes they're not very generous with the chocolate. Oh, delicious, I'm so hungry as well. This literally tastes like a chocolate croissant that you'd get in Pret or, I don't know, a little bakery. No, no, no. Not the equivalent of going to like a nice little bakery. Not quite as good, but also, obviously it's not warm. Maybe I should have warmed it up. I can imagine if you actually get one from Lidl when they've just been baked, I bet they're so good. For 49p, wow. Right, now let's try. You know, I might go, hmm. I might go for a donut because we've got a few. So this is, I don't even know what this is. I'm sure it was just, I'm sure it was called like a lemon donut or something. Yeah, it doesn't specify on here. Okay. I think it's a lemon donut. There's a bit of chocolate on it from the other stuff. Oh my gosh. So, oh God, this is so messy. It's so windy outside, by the way. What is this? This is filled with lemon, obviously, I'm guessing. Yeah, not got a mega strong taste. I'll just show you there. Hmm, let me have another bite, hold on. Get a bit of lemon in there. Oh, so the lemon's all around. You know what? That is a really nice amount of lemon. So you've just got the icing on the top, which isn't flavored. I don't think these yellow bits on top are particularly lemony either. Mm, little hint, but not, not very strong at all. But you've got the lemon sort of, I wanna say curd, like what is that? that lemon filling running throughout the whole inside of the donut. And actually it's a really nice amount. It's not too strong. It's not too like tangy. Yeah, that's actually really quite nice. Okay, my battery just died because I forgot to charge it when I came back from my weekend away in Arendelle. Anyway, where were we? Ah, lemon donut. That was good, that was good. I wouldn't necessarily rush to buy it again though. Okay, moving on. Shall we do? You know what? I quite want to try this brownie. I mean, it's it's quite small, you know, a bit smaller than I'd like. What's in that? Nuts. So that's what it looks like. 
Hmm, I do like a brownie. That's nice, yeah. That's good. The nuts, there's only a few nuts in there. You can't really taste the nuts much at all. It's got a nice texture. It's quite soft. The amount of chocolate in there is really nice. It's not too rich. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, just realized I think I was showing you the wrong side. I think I was showing you the bottom of it. I think that's, that's the top. And then it's got this piece of chocolate in it, which just adds another bit of chocolate to it. So obviously we know how much I love chocolate. So yeah, this is really good. I do feel like I rarely have a bad brownie. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's, it's quite like a standard thing to not get really wrong. However, this is actually really nice. This is a really nice brownie. Shall we do the cheese twist? Look at that. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? I'm not gonna lie, I don't often get things like this. Um, I don't know why actually, because I really like pastry and I like cheese. But you know what I'm like, if I'm going to a bakery or whatever, I am obviously gonna get the sweet options always. But I thought it'd be quite a good change to try this. Okay. Mmm. That's really good. Wow. So, as you can probably see, the dough itself is yeah, it's really nice. It's light and fluffy, a really nice texture. And then the cheese is really nice. Like it's, it's just really lovely. I don't know what cheese this is, but it's just really nice, like with this pastry. And then you can see there's obviously like a bit of crispiness, crunchiness on the top. Oh yeah, this is really good. Okay, that was delicious. That was so nice. Why don't I get stuff like that more often? I am so impressed. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a video where I've actually really liked most things that I've tried. Okay, I'm gonna try this next. So this is the maple and pecan plat, I think they called it. So that's what it looks like. It looks like it's gonna be really crunchy. Ooh, yeah, that sounds good. So what's inside? I don't entirely know what the filling is. I mean, I'm sure someone's gonna tell me in the comments below. Can you see inside? It looks like a shark. <laughs> da -da, da -da. Anyway, yeah, I don't know what that filling is, but hold on, let me try the filling alone. Yeah, no idea what the filling is. It doesn't taste of much. All I would say is when you do bite into it, the little bits on top, they are a bit burnt and you can actually really taste that when you're, when you're chewing. Um, but apart from that, it is nice. It's got a really nice taste to it. Again, like none of this feels too stodgy or too heavy when you're eating it. And whatever it is inside, there's a good amount of that going around. It's nice enough, but I don't think I would get that again. Shall we try? I might do one more sort of sweet thing and then try the pizza. Cause I'm really, really curious to see what that's like. Yeah, let's do this bad boy. White chocolate chip cookie. Now, my favorite cookies ever, I think, are Ben's cookies. Oh, they're just stunning. And their white chocolate chip cookie. Oh my God, honestly, it's like my, I, could, I would marry it if I could. But then I would say M&S um, do a very good white chocolate chip cookie. So I do have quite high standards when it comes to a white chocolate chip cookie. So I bake cookies quite a lot as well. And actually I think my cookies are pretty good. This is a bit disappointing. Oh, it's just, you know what? I think there's not enough sugar in it. That's the only thing that's really springing to mind. And I'm just thinking of the ingredients that I put in when I make my cookies. I just think it's lacking in sugar. It's kind of not quite sweet enough. The white chocolate in it is okay. It's not that good. Again, it's kind of like an in-between texture. It's not. It's not like crispy and crunchy and it's not really gooey either. Yeah, I would say so far, to be honest, the cookie is probably the biggest letdown. Um, ah, oh, that's disappointing. You know what? I think I'm gonna go for the pizza next. So this is just like a little 
margarita -y pizza. Um, I might put it in the microwave for a bit, you know? Yeah, let's heat this up. Hold on. Okay, I did it for about 40 seconds. Um, it looks all right, to be fair. I think that's a correct amount. Doesn't really, doesn't really smell of anything. Oh, that's really hot. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, Ooh. give it a second. You know what? I like this. I wasn't sure I would, because I do like my pizza and I don't know. I just kind of thought, mm, how nice could it be? The dough is really nice. There's like a nice amount of tomato. I don't like tomatoes, but I like pizza. Yeah, I know, weird. So for me, I, I hate it when pizza has too much tomato sauce or anything. So this is a really nice amount of tomato sauce. And again, the cheese is really nice. What is it with this little cheese? It's just really easy to eat, to be honest. It's really Moorish. Okay, I need to stop, but that's really yummy. That's actually really nice. I really like that. Oh my God, and it was so cheap. I might put the stuff I've eaten already to this side. Oh, yes, organization is what we like. Okay, so we have these bad boys left. This hazelnut donut, something like that. This kind of cinnamon, cinnamony vibe and a chocolate muffin. I love a muffin. I've not had a muffin in so long. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this first. So, I'm not gonna lie, it feels, it's a bit solid. It's quite light. I feel like if I chuck this at someone's head, I would hurt them. So I'm, mm, I'm not convinced, but I do love cinnamon. So, oh wait, I should probably show it to you. About to take a massive bite. This is quite big to be fair. Okay. Interesting. So, I was gonna be a bit negative about it, but yeah, it's kind of what I thought it would be. The taste is really nice. There's a really nice amount of cinnamon. You know what? I'd say in general, apart from that cookie, they've done a really good job with the flavor and the taste of things. Like nothing's too, too overpowering. And this is the same. Like there's a really nice amount of cinnamon in this. Um, I feel like I've got it on my lip. Yes, I do. There's a really nice amount of cinnamon to this. The only thing that I thought would be the issue is the pastry itself. Pastry is a bit, a bit hard. It's, you can tell it's like not the best pastry. You know, if, if you get this in a bakery or even I had one recently in Gales, we've got one down the high street and it's a lot um, squidgier. The dough's just a lot softer and I don't know, this is just a bit, a bit hard. So this piece in the center, it's actually a lot nicer. This dough feels a lot softer. It's just, yeah, this bit's a lot nicer. It's just the outside of it. It's just a bit, it's just a bit solid. I do feel like that's where you can tell the difference in quality between Lidl's one and if you went to another bakery. So overall with the cinnamon bun thing, it's nice. I'm not absolutely blown away, but yeah, it is, it's pretty good. Right, next is this. I think it's a hazelnut donut. I mean, I quite like the little swirl they've done. The bottom looks good. Mm-mm. Mm. I'll show you the inside, but I've not actually tasted any of that yet. On first taste, it's not very nice. The donut, I mean, you can probably see by what it looks like. The donut itself isn't very nice. It's not a very nice texture. Yeah, that's not great. And the chocolate, the chocolate's not great either, but I do want to get the inside chocolate bit. Look at that. To see what that tastes like, because it might make it better. Oh. This is really weird. I can't tell how I feel about it, you know? Because the inside is almost, it tastes a little bit like Nutella, which I love, but I don't really like the donut itself. I'm just gonna try and eat the inside. It's a shame because the actual donut itself just isn't very nice at all. And even the chocolate on the base and on the top isn't particularly great, but the inside, the filling is really nice. It's just not a very nice donut. 
Okay, Muffin, you are the last thing. This looks really good. Ooh, and yes, yeah, so there's white and dark chocolate chips on it. I'm excited for this. Please be good. The only thing I would already say without trying it is it doesn't look like there are many chocolate chips spread out inside the muffin. Again, unsure how I feel about it. It's not got a particularly, I don't know, it's a bit bland. Like there's, uh, there's some chocolate chips in it, but only really on the top, like inside it, there's not much chocolate. So it's just a lot of sponge. I'm just trying to, oh, okay. So there's chocolate, I thought there might be. There's like a chocolate center, gooey chocolate center. Okay, here we are. God, I'm literally just tearing it apart. You can probably see it on that piece. Yeah. That's better. It's just the muffin itself isn't that nice. Like, it's weird because there's nothing really wrong with the texture or anything. It's just, it just doesn't taste of much. It ha doesn't have much flavor at all, the muffin itself. That chocolate filling is quite nice, but it's really far down into the muffin. Even the chocolate inside of that actually isn't that nice. I thought it would be like the hazelnut filling in the donut, but it, it's not. Okay, well that has been really interesting. I feel like we started off very well and then it went slowly downhill, but some of this stuff was absolutely delightful. I think my favorite thing, I really like the pizza. The pizza was really good and the cheese swirl thing. Actually the savory things were probably the best out of all this stuff. The brownie was really nice actually. The brownie is really nice. And this is the thing, it's all so cheap. Like it's so cheap. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna have a cup of tea, watch Netflix and eat through the rest of this. Oh, what a lovely afternoon. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know what other videos you would like to see and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I want to obviously keep doing more taste tests. So let me know which other bakeries I need to visit and I will see you guys next time.